Hey hi friends, in this quick video we will create a Spring MUC web application using Spring Boot and JSP. Alright, let's open STS IDE and go to the file, choose new and select Spring Starter Project. Uh, let's fill up the details. Uh, let's give name as a Spring Boot uh, Web App JSP and uh, keep default uh, options as it is like Maven, Jar, Java and Java version and here you can you can give a group uh, ID. Uh, I am giving here net.javagage.springboot you can give uh, the name that you are you know fam familiar uh, let's uh, choose spring web starter dependency because we are creating a spring MVC application here you, we need to choose a latest version of spring boot hit finish uh, here we go so this is a simple spring boot application that we have created uh, let's update the Marvin dependencies so we are basically creating a Spring MVC application uh, with the Spring Boot auto configuration. We are not writing any you know uh, configuration uh, Spring configuration in this application. We are all, we are totally depends on Spring Boot auto configuration. So here uh, inside of pom.xml we define the dependencies and plugins. So here let me add uh, JSP and uh, uh, servlet dependencies uh, in order to work with the JSP as a view layer. So here these are the two dependencies uh, we need to add in order to work with the JSP. Alright. Now let's create a you know a Spring MSU controller. So we create a welcome controller. So this is a very simple MSU controller which returns a welcome uh, view. So let's annotate this uh, controller class with the controller annotation, uh, which uh, identifies that uh, this is a Spring MSU controller, and it also scanned during component scanning alright let's create a simple uh, public method and it, uh, this method returns a uh, view view name that is a JSP name as a welcome let's make it as a spring MUC method handler uh, by annotating get mapping annotation we can also use a request mapping annotation but uh, this get mapping is ma annotation is a shortcut for request mapping alright let's uh, give a URI, a URI template as a welcome so whenever request comes uh, uh, like a welcome then it would map to the method handler alright so this is a pretty simple uh, Spring MVC controller and we are uh, you know displaying a message on a web page uh, that's why I need to create a model and we need to add a message to the model and we return that model to the GSP page in order to display a model data alright let's uh, keep a hello world message so we are uh, we are basically developing very simple spring uh, web application in order to utilize the spring boot auto configuration alright so let's create a view layer uh, web app folder is uh, by default not created so let's create a web app folder uh, under web app folder uh, we need to create a web app folder alright uh, in web banner folder under web banner folder we need to create a views folder all right so always uh, uh, keep your gsp files under web banner folder so that client cannot access directly to the gsp files let's create a welcome.gsp file and here let's use a gstl tag in order to display a message uh, dollar all right this is a syntax of gstl Alright, this is a pretty simple, you know, uh, GSP page, and here we need to define the internal view resolver. Let's uh, use Spring Boot uh, configuration properties. Uh, we need to define here prefix and suffix for the internal view res view resolver, and prefix is a slash web banner app and suffix is dot GSP. So we have created a views folder, right? So let's name, uh, let's give here uh, web banner app slash views. Alright, so this is a very simple configuration we need to do whenever we develop a Spring MVC application using Spring Boot. Alright, so this is a pretty simple way how you know uh, uh, we are done with the creating a simple Spring MVC application. Let's run this application. So when we add a Spring you know st web starter dependency, then it it uses it provides a embedded Tomcat server. So now uh, the Spring Boot application is running an embedded Tomcat server. Let's uh, open the browser and uh, hit a welcome uh, link in a browser. Here we go. 
the hello world you know messages displayed on the JSP page so this is pretty simple uh, spring MSC app application uh, using spring boot and JSP we are we have used auto com spring boot auto configuration we are not written any spring configuration thanks